Greetings Multiverse, and wow, the Injustice 2 Sub-Zero trailer has just this instant, as I record this, been released. We've stuck it up on our channel, which you'll probably find right above my head right now, if you want to check out beforehand. But I'm going straight into it now. I've had a brief glimpse of it, but you'll see my full reactions now. It's very late here in the UK, so let's get on with it right now. <laughs> Exciting. Oh, he's got skulls on his knees. He does look pretty cool. Who is it under the mask? I am Sub-Zero, Grandmaster of the Lin Kuei. That's a first. <laughs> we'll be back by the face of it. Oh, good job. Meter burn, I think that. We've got... Oh, I see. Ow, ow, ow. God, he's lethal. Neat. Oh, <laughs> good move. Oh, you're sure the whole area of transition. Okay, thanks guys. Wasn't really necessary, but... Fair enough. Oh, that was not. <laughs> oh, straight down move. Interesting. Not many of them in just this. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> That's a good combo move. Ooh. Ouch! He can teleport! He can teleport! <laughs> oh. oh, that's gonna be a pain to fight. Super move! <laughs> Wasn't even looking. Bash! And dead! <laughs> oh, excellent. Wow, wow, wow. I really did not expect Sub-Zero to be the next one to be announced. I expected it was going to be Starfire. Uh, yeah, uh, right in the middle there. But fine, yeah, get the Mortal Kombat one out of the way. For E3, though, um, I would really have preferred Starfire. I really am uncomfortable with Mortal Kombat characters being introduced so soon into Injustice 2. The game's only just launched, basically, and he's only the second character to come out? Mm. Oh, well, it says July, so could get stuck. No, no, he he'll be next. It'll be early July as well. But then it'll be Starfire in August? Ah, <sighs> that's a bit odd to me. But anyway, no, that did look good, though. Sub-Zero does look to be a very <laughs> cool character. <laughs> I don't want to keep on saying that, but he does. <laughs> he picked up his own icy version and hit the other guy with him. Was it Superman? Possibly. He changed enemies quite a few times in that. And when he projected a few of them and Batman tried to get through with them and froze and got hit, that looks a right pain in the ass to get through. There's quite a lot of combo moves. I really hope that he's not going to be a combo-focused character, but he's probably, most likely, going to play exactly as he does in the last Mortal Kombat game. That's what generally tends to happen when fighter characters cross over. That super move, though, that, that's lethal. <laughs> I liked the ending when he picks me up by the throat and kills me. <laughs> That's quite cute. That's quite similar to Red Hood's, the way he puts three bullets in the screen. I don't think any of the, the standard characters break the fourth wall like the DLC characters do. That is that is quite neat. Yeah, I'm excited for it. And I will have the Ultimate Edition, so I will be streaming it. I will be giving my full review of Sub-Zero when he becomes available in July. Until then, I'll be playing a lot of Red Hood. We've got a stream coming of the Multiverse event going up on the site tomorrow and the actual stream is going to be tomorrow night and will go up Friday, most likely. Part 2 of it, including the Joker boss. We've got a review of the Red Hood. I wasn't so sure about him, but he's certainly beginning to grow on me now that I've played the Multiverse event. You can hear my full thoughts on the site, maybe a link above if I'm feeling nice right now. Anyway, subscribe to DC Comics Gamer for daily DC Comics videos, including everything on Injustice 2 and all the DLC characters. Leave a like, they always help us out. Leave a comment on what you thought about Sub-Zero, and I'll be sure to respond. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned and catch you later.